Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, my name is Paulina, this channel is all about beauty and today I'm going to show you my top 10 summer fragrances this year. I feel like this year the fragrances I've used the most were quite different to previous years, maybe because the summer hasn't been like too warm here in the UK. Also, I didn't really go abroad. So I've noticed that the fragrances I usually picked up, like, you know, this kind of like beautiful coconutty fragrances and all, that's not really something I felt like really drawn towards. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let me show you what I've actually been using. So the first fragrance is Alien Hypersense and this is the new release for 2024. This is a much lighter, more summery version of the original Alien fragrance and I, I've been obsessed with that really. It just works so well with my skin this year that I just can't stop using it. Uh, this one has some fruity notes inside including pear. Pear always makes everything a little bit brighter and lighter and airier so uh, that's why it's just perfect for like a little warmer weather. But I've been actually alternating this fragrance with a little bit older scent by Alien and this is Flora Futura. This is also a summery lightweight version of the original Alien, but this one is more floral. So I've used them both quite a lot this year. I couldn't even tell you which one I use more, but yeah, they're both amazing. I actually have one more fragrance by Mugler in my collection and this is Aura Sensuel. So this fragrance has been in my collection for years now and there was a time that I was actually considering um, decluttering it. I never actually disliked it but it was just not really a fragrance I gravitated towards. This year on the other hand this fragrance has been my obsession. I just can't stop using it. It's just so stunning. I don't know maybe it actually works better when it's not like super hot outside but this is this beautiful green floral fragrance but it's unlike anything else. Like I don't think there's a fragrance I'll be able to to compare this to. It's just so good. Next up we have another new release from 2024. This is Miss Dior Parfum. I love this one. This is such a beautiful fruit truly fragrance with the main fruit here being wild strawberry. And as much as I really dislike strawberry as a note in fragrances, wild strawberry is a completely different story. The wild strawberry note reminds me of my childhood, so there's something like very sentimental about this fragrance. But at the same time, I find this fragrance so timeless. Like it's just this beautiful uh, springtime, summertime for truly very classic and a little bit modern at the same time. I think it's just a, such a timeless fragrance. It's so pretty. Okay, next up we have another uh, new 2024 release. This is Victor and Roll Flower Bomb Tiger Lily. And well, first of all, I love the bottle. But as far as the fragrance goes, this is literally the only tropical fragrance I feel like I want to use this yet. Granted, this is not your typical uh, tropical scent. We do have quite prominent notes of mango and coconut, which, yeah, very tropical, but we also have these really kind of like sharp, strong white floral notes that make this fragrance smell almost clean. So this is like a very, I would say, elegant, clean, tropical fragrance. Quite unique, and considering the fact that the summer hasn't been like super hot, I think this is like a perfect level of tropical for that type of weather. Really love that. Next up we have Boss the Scent, but this is not the newest release. Uh, this one was actually released in last year, this is the scent Magnetic. So this is a beautiful concoction of musk, amber, and uh, osmanthus. It's just stunning. Like honestly, all those fragrances that I'm talking about today, I couldn't really choose like one that's my favorite or the most used. I feel like I've been literally using all 10 of these fragrances like crazy this year. Next up we have another 2024 release and this is Lancome La Nuit Trésor Le Parfum. And let me tell you, this is my number one night out, date night kind of like fragrance. It's just so sexy, but almost in a classy way. Like all that sweetness that is usually associated with La Nuit has all fragrances here. It's a little bit muted, but we still have that cacao and patchouli mix. And pretty much all the sweetness here comes from like black currants note. It's just so intoxicating. Like at this point, I'll probably say this is my favorite La Nuit Trésor fragrance ever. The next one I'm going to show you is going to be a little controversial because pretty much everyone hates this fragrance. And I don't know why. I've always liked it uh, since the moment I bought it. This is another La Nuit Trésor fragrance by Lancôme, and this is Musk Diamant. And I can 100% agree that this fragrance just, I don't think it belongs with other La Nuit Trésor fragrances. 
uh, but it's just so nice. It's a very uncomplicated, simple fragrance. And the main notes here are raspberry and musk. So very clean, very feminine, very beautiful. I love it. I love it for like summer. And do you know what? Normally, I think the fragrance I would pick up for summer would be the, I think it was new to the coconutty. Um, La Nuit Caso, I love that one too, but this year I just can't, I just, I just don't vibe with this fragrance. I think, I think it's the weather still, I don't know. But yeah, this one's actually perfect this year. Okay, the last two fragrances are by Elisab and they were both released last year, so I'm going to start with Elixir. And by the way, I've just found out there's new Elixir, I think it's Elixir Love, it comes in a red bottle and the main note is, I think, cherry. I definitely need to give it a go. So, the 2023 Elixir, such a stunning fragrance fragrance. So whenever we're talking about Elisab, we kind of like straight away know that there's going to be a lot of like orange related notes. Uh, so there's going to be like orange, mandarin orange, neroli, orange blossom, whatever. Uh, and that's no exception really. There is a lot of like neroli and orange here. So we always have this layer of like brightness and like kind of like joy in those fragrances. But this is a really beautiful ambery scent with some iris. So obviously there is some powderiness here as well. It is just stunning. It's on the heavier side, but those like bright, sparkling neroli notes, they always make these fragrances smell like summer. So yeah, I love that one. And then the last fragrance is again by Elisa Le Parfum Bridal. And I think I like that one even more actually. It is beautiful. So yes, of course we do have those like sparkly uh, orangey notes. There is some neroli here as well. It also has this kind of like ambery base, but I would not say that these fragrances are similar. This fragrance is much more floral and much more musky. And the florals here are Lang Lang and Gardenia mostly. So pretty intense notes, I would say. And then that muskiness here, it is just so dreamy. I think this fragrance is a little bit like less summery maybe, maybe a little bit more of an all year rounder. I think I probably would not necessarily use it in a super hot summer, but it's not really the case this year. So I've actually been using this quite a lot. It's just so good. Okay guys, so these are the fragrances I've been using the most this summer. What do you think? Have you tried any of these fragrances? If so, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, let me know what fragrance you're using the most this summer. Thank you very much for watching. For more beauty related content, check those videos over here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care, bye!